uh, catching up with you guys um, down at my uh, special spot. I just want to talk about before I do this video. One sec. Um, all right, we got here. Just, just just little things you need to know. You know what I mean? Not that I know everything about fishing. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna find my. Um, but we got here and it was very slow, and we could see some action in the water, some yellow tails, and we're trying to get yellow tails and get squid. Now, when you, whenever you're going fishing, look at this blurriness. I hope it goes away. There we go. Whenever you're going fishing, especially for bait, we had trouble trying to get them. I had my leader was a bit thick. I burlied up. I did everything I had to do. But sometimes the yellow tail are swimming deep. Sometimes are on the surface. Now, we couldn't get any yellow tails for an hour. So I got decided I'm going to put some thin line, four pound line, small little sinker, and I let it drop down the bottom after I was building. Then I was getting yakka after yakka. So it always pays off to change your leaders and do certain things. We weren't catching squid. So I was throwing out some uh, bigger jigs and we couldn't get any squid. So I thought, all right, there must be smaller ones around. So I've decided to put a smaller jig on. A smaller jig, threw it out, first cast, got a squid. So I put that on the line and I've just continued on now. And now, as you can see, a little fresh bait there. Some yuck is in the bucket. So it just, you know, pays off. Hopefully if this video continues we've got something decent, but if it doesn't, you know, fishing's fishing. But I just thought I'd let you guys know you know, it pays off always to change. Always, you know, if they're not eating on the surface and you're going for bait fish, they're not eating on the surface, check your leader. Put thinner leader, put a nice small hook. Put a sinker, let it go down. Sometimes you don't need a sinker and sometimes you do. It's just good to change. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, not that I'm trying to teach us everything, but it's just good to do a change. So we have caught two squid so far and I've only been squeeding with the smaller jig for the last 10 minutes and I've got two. So whenever you go squeeding, like I said, whenever you go squeeding and they're not on, change your jig, put a smaller jig, put a larger jig, it just depends. But um, hopefully this video gets continued. If it doesn't, that means we've caught nothing, but if it does, we've caught something. So keep on, keep tuned. Thanks. All right, I'm setting Jimbo's bait up he likes to use these um, pre-rigged and I've told him many of times to pre-rigged is you know too thick when you're pre-rigging just put one through there like that probably two through and like I said this isn't for the people that know already but this is for learners. Go through the body and through the head. So if anything comes, most most of the time they'll come and they'll whack the head. They'll take the head. So this is bait set up. So hopefully you can get one. But that's a fresh squid. Hook through the head. Hook through the back of the hood. And um, if a brim takes it or something big just takes the head, it's going to get caught. And if it takes the whole thing, it's still going to get caught. So it's a bit of more information for you guys. See, if one through the body, one through the head, beautiful. See how it goes. Since I'm not catching any fish right now, I might as well just talk about the rod I use. I use a couple of rods, but this is one of my favorites. It's not over the top price range, so, you know, afterpay is pretty cool. But I'm... Um, yeah, it's a, this is a 11 foot, it's called a sea jigger, Daiwa sea jigger. Oh wow, I'm getting bites on my fresh squid, just had a couple of bites. Anyway, yeah, so the rod and the reel that I've got with it, it's a Saltus reel, um, extraordinary reel. It's just very strong, very smooth, um, very, you know, just perfect. And it matches, so blue and blue, so I reckon it's really good. So if you guys ever go out there and you want to get a rod um, for jewies or etc. kingies, it's, it's, it's just a, you know, perfect rod to use. It looks good, handles good. So it's a sea jigger. I don't know if you 
can see it there, not too much black. Sea Jigger and a Saltist Reel. So they're amazing rods and re amazing reels. So go out and get one, you know, you're going off to pay and get the rod and reel. Probably cost you about six or seven hundred for both, but actually maybe a bit more, but it's it's really worth it. It's it's a great reel and rod. So I thought I'd just um hopefully I get a run while I'm filming, that'd just be amazing. But I doubt it. I'm not that lucky. But um yeah, go out there and grab one. They're really good. I forgot to tell you guys. I like to use this, um, like when I was talking about the smaller jigs, you can see how small that is, and pink, um, any natural colours work well. I like using a, it's like a teaser, this bit here just teases the squid, and they usually tend to grab that one, or they tend to grab this one, it's a 1.5 Yamashita, and yeah, they're great. We should do too, go get yourself a light. UV light, you won't be able to see it, but it glows it up really quick, so it makes it easier for the squid to see, apparently. But, um, yeah, if I just the torch is on there now, but just give it a bit of a hit and it will go nice and green and just cast it out and continue. See what I was, um, when I was going for the yakas, what kind of setup it was. So, I've got this just like a little reel, doesn't really matter what, but it's better to have a nicer reel. With a little ball sinker, little swivel, and a little hook. So if you're going for yakas and, you know, like I said, they're not around, they're not on the surface, just put a little ball sinker. But the leader is the key. Leader, thin leader, always catches the fish. Most of you would probably know that, but I'm just telling the beginners, you know. Yeah, so when you're first getting into it and you want to catch some bait fish, you use a small hook, small line, small rod, and you can cast it out on the bigger rods. Fun, fun. Fish on. Oh. All right, with um, going for jewies, got a live yucca here. Got a ball. I got a um, what are they called? The fucking what are these called? You know what they're called? Slum. Slider. Slider. Slider with a fucking sinker on it. Star sinker. Star sinker. And when you're putting this for your jewelry baits or kingy baits, you want to just get it through the top of the head. I know it's cruel, but this is fishing, and just slide it through so it stays alive. And give them a big cast out, and yeah, let's see if I can get a jewelry for us. Well, guys, I didn't like catch boy, nothing. It, but, uh, this poor little like, guy, um, big Bruce to swimmer. Oh, look, he's hooked it in here in his arm. Poor little guy. I don't want to go. Oh, look, he's trying to take the hook out. God love him. That's what happens when you get greedy. But... Uh, uh, might have to let you go, I think. I feel sorry for you. You just wanted to feed. Don't chop my hand off. Don't chop my hand off. There you go, buddy. You're all free. Take this line off here. Oop. Oh, there we go. And go towards the water, man. God's amazing creatures, mate. Look at it. Come on. Uh, sometimes I just can't even eat them. I feel sorry for them. It's part of fishing, I guess. Alright, back. 
morning time's hit. Didn't get much last night, got a snapper, but I got a livey out there. And I'm just throwing some unweighted pilly. I just got a, got a trevally then, but nothing too big. Still waiting, hopefully. You get one on. Some action going on out there. I don't know what's going on. Bait fish or something. Birds are going crazy. But yeah, hopefully I get something to show you guys. Alright, another little trevally. Quite so hard. Oh, I don't want the bigger ones, but where are the bigger ones? Alright, when you're going for trevally, going for trevally or kings or salmon or anything like that, get yourself a bag of pillies, make some cubes up, throw them in to attract the fish, little brim hook, and a bit of piece, no sinker. Leader, no sinker. We'll see how we go. Oh, 